Oh man, this issue of net neutrality just won't go away. We're going to discuss what's going on with it and what you can possibly do. And I'm not talking about a damn VPN to make things happen in this video. Let's get it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Uncle Mont. I'm the uncle again. I'm done with those people that try to make me your cousin. Helping you guys with your life gains and cord cutting, streaming, fitness, money, we do it all. And today we're talking about net neutrality and what's going on with the various states, court battles and all that. But first, I gotta put on my plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell, work on skilling up my craft, giving you guys a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. Check my affiliates and sponsors, HDIP TV, offering everything you see on the screen, $14 a month. We also rocking with the two week diet for my folks trying to get them cuts for the sluts, ladies trying to get them butts for the mutts. And also check out that tactical pen. I mean, the pen is a surgical knife, it's a pen, it's a laser, it's a light. That pen is definitely more mightier than the sword. So for those of you that might have missed what happened with net neutrality last year, let's fast forward to what's going on now. And basically what is net neutrality? Net neutrality was basically saying that no one could come along, slow down your internet, or put up toll booths to restrict you from going places that they didn't want you to go to. So let's just say you've got AT&T and they don't want you to stream Netflix because they want you to buy their service. They could slow it down if they so choose to and it's legal to do so. The biggest example of this happened with Netflix. Netflix in a specific area where internet was pretty much monopolized by a specific phone company, customers started getting the ring of death. So customers called Netflix and was complaining. What did Netflix find out? That the monopoly phone company said, y'all are gonna give us some more money or else we're gonna keep giving these people the ring of death whenever they try to watch your streams. They basically extorted Netflix, all right? And so this whole thing comes down to, you guys know I hate monopolies. Competition is what creates price drops, it creates value. We need robust competition in this country, pretty much anywhere, if you don't wanna see this type of stuff happening. Because the way it goes right now, all these companies have to do is monopolize the corner, go pay money to lobbyists, who right now seem to not have a backbone to do anything to help the American people, and then you're stuck. You've got to do the bidding of whatever these monopolies want you to do. Here's another example of that. Not too long ago, there was these wildfires going on. Firefighters was out there fighting these fires. And to communicate back and forth with EMS personnel, whoever they need to communicate with, they had to use a lot of data. So what did Verizon do? Verizon cut off their service. Can y'all believe that? Verizon cut off service to these firemen who are out there fighting fires, trying to save homes, save lives. Um, the chief called Verizon and said, what's up? Verizon said, uh, you're using so much data, you're gonna have to pay us some more money you can't get your service. Can y'all believe that? Because a monopoly company, I mean, really? So what happened from all that? Certain states passed laws that said, you can't do business here. We're not gonna let you do that. It is illegal in the state. Even though the FCC said it's legal, California, Seattle, and a couple of other states passed laws saying that, nope, we're not gonna allow you guys to be slowing down people, putting up toll booths, all that foolishness. So now the monopoly phone companies and internet companies are getting ready to take some of those states to court, ladies and gentlemen. Man, this thing is just getting ugly. Now, what can you do? I don't know if it's gonna work, but you can call Congress and lobby. But right now, it seems like our Congress is only worried about taking care of the people that fill their pockets, not the American people. And we've got to get that out of here. I mean, there is no situation where you should pay for internet service. You've already paid for the service and then be blocked anywhere you want to go and use the service. That just, it's madness, man, it's madness. So if you have access to your Congress people, call them, continue to shout it down. I'm not sure if that's gonna work or not. 
because they're already bought and paid. If they want this thing to end, they would have stopped it when the FCC made that ruling last year. If you are in a state that is friendly enough to fight this at the state level, like a California, like a Seattle, you call them and let them know that you are happy that they are protecting free speech, your freedom of going wherever you want to go on the internet in your comforts of your own damn home. And whose fault is it? People trying to be greedy. The monopoly companies, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I always rail in my videos against companies that want to monopolize anything. And I also rail against lobbyists. I hate both of them. So now the fight is up to you to kind of just keep watching this story. I'm trying to keep you guys informed of it and call these various Congress people in states that are trying to keep laws to protect you, the consumer, to do what you want to do on the internet in the comforts of your own home. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Guys, take this seriously. And, you know, for a lot of you guys, you follow me for streaming. How long before they start coming after that? And a VPN ain't going to stop it. If anything, they're just going to say, you got a VPN? Oh, we're going to block that shit too. So keep your eye on it. Let me know what you guys have experienced in this whole thing. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.